We've added a timefall shelter option to your PCC. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. Congratulations, Sam. Your PCC's leveled up, so to speak. It now has the capacity to produce more complex structures. I'll let Mama fill you in on the details. Sam, I've added a safe house schematic to your PCC. It's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to build. But once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Give it a shot. A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady supply of chiral crystals to operate. Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go. Next on your agenda is a visit to a Timefall farm. You're probably wondering how that works, since Timefall ages and eventually kills living organisms. But in controlled amounts, Timefall can be used to grow plants at record speed. We're not talking about double or triple cropping. The process can yield several years worth of produce in a single 12-month cycle. A couple runs the farm. One used to be an environmental scientist. He left the city to experiment with timefall as a means to turn the desert soil of void out craters into arable land. He's also done research into gene modification to create plants capable of withstanding the rapid growth. His work caught Amelie's eye when she and her group were heading west. A sprinkle of rain, a burst of growth, and if you cut the water off at just the right time, You've got a farm that functions more like a factory. Our recent advances in weather forecasting should allow him to plan ahead and produce even more food. We have some genetically modified wheat we need you to bring to him. Connect the Cupid while you're there. You're doing a great job, Sam. You've helped us expand the chiral network deep into the mountains. But our colleagues at the weather station still have it rough. And you know as well as anyone how treacherous the roads up there can get. They may be networked now, but they still need regular supply runs to survive. We'd like you to build a safe house nearby for other porters handling deliveries. There's a perfect spot about halfway up the mountain I've designated as the building site. If it turns out there isn't enough there for our needs after all, you'll have to come up with the rest on your own.
Sam. Seems like you don't have enough resources to build that safe house. Make sure to take everything we earmarked for you.
Let's get that safe house built. You good to go, Sam? First, equip your PCC and select safe house. over to the safe house sooner rather than later. This safe house will be a boon to countless others in the long run. I'm not just talking about the porters who'll use it as a stopover on the way to the weather station, but the people they help and the people they help. We're all connected to someone else, Sam. But you'll have the honor of being the first person to rest there.
get a move on. Predicting the weather is akin to predicting the future. Some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger. But we have something far better. The ability to gather data and act accordingly. Only humans possess this power to plan ahead. We have the capacity to live each day imagining what tomorrow will be like. And our imagination once gave rise to a rich, vibrant culture. But somewhere along the line, we lost sight of tomorrow. We reduced ourselves to animals, focused only on the here and now.
Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Use of weapons is prohibited. <laughs> has always been so good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. She saw the value in what we were doing and led the effort to get our farm up and running. We've been waiting a long time to join the Chiral Network. Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? Well, I'll be. Did you really bring us this much? How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you. So, Sam, you've been run down by mules after they pinged your cargo, right? Well, to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor and cancel out their pulse with your own. They'll be none the wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything, though. Now to start really using Timefall to our advantage. Our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but... Without the ability to predict Timefall, the results have been less than stellar. The Timefall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the terrorists went and threw everything out of whack. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan, we'll be able to expand our operation and use Timefall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course. 
and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the time fall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for the harvest. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. Huh? Well, would you look at that? You've only just brought the Timefall farm into the network, and already we've got new orders. May as well make use of the return trip. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Hmm. 